Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be covering the Tanguska. This is a criminally underrated Torg RPG. Um, it was recommended to me by a user in my Discord named Glyce. It's a Torg RPG that shoots and does damage on impact. Then it blasts upwards and does more explosive damage in the air. Most people view this weapon as garbage, but they must not have tried turning this weapon into its alternate mode. You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo. When you turn this thing into sticky mode, it does some serious work. Now before we get into the review and I tell you guys exactly which parts you're going to be looking for, let's tell you guys where to get the drop. Now you're going to want to go over to Floodmore uh, Basin on Eden 6. There's a crew challenge enemy named Chomp Stomp. This is the dedicated loot source for the Tanguska. You're just going to want to go there and kill him. Um, he's marked on the map. He's pretty easy to find. Now the specific Tanguska I suggest farming for is a double penetrating one. This launcher has such a slow fire rate. In my opinion, it's not worth messing around with the times one. Even though you can get a bunch of mag size bonuses on this uh, RPG, by the time you shoot enough rounds to really make it worth using the time, times one, um, they basically start to auto explode for the little damage. Um, so double penetrating is gonna be the best roll in my opinion. Now this can come in four or five magazine si sizes. Now I believe on unanointed um, versions of this weapon, the gyrojet damage is actually not um, even listed, but every other Torg launcher with the same magazines are 75% and 55% gyrojets. Um, keep in mind the lower the magazine the higher the gyrojet percentage. So the um, with the double penetrating ones, the four magazine should be 75% and the five magazine should be 55%. Um, that is just technically a guess, but this is a Torg RPG and every other Torg RPG um, shares this gyrojet percentage. So I'm pretty sure that it's th gonna be the same here. Now, one other thing you wanna do is get bonus mag size on all of your gear I'm using a class mod that doesn't even have any damage rolls on it, um, but it has the 24% mag size. And then I'm using a pretty good snow drift I have. Um, it has 40% mag size and it also does have AOE damage. Now we are also using Zane's skill Prey Munitus. So basically with all these magazine size bonuses, we can get seven shots from the four magazine and we can get nine shots out of the five magazine. Um, now cut those in half because with the double penetrating ones um, we're, we're basically uh, using two bullets per shot but in sticky mode this allows for some insane amounts of damage and that's where this gun really shines is in sticky mode. It does the same animation where it explodes on detonation and then it goes upwards and explodes again. So you basically get two explosions out of this weapon and um, it's kind of insane. I believe when it goes upwards and explodes again, it does uh, more damage than the base explosion as well. Now I'm gonna be talking about this gun's potential mainly with Zane. Violent Momentum is an amazing skill with sticky rounds and I think that's what's making this so powerful for us. For those of you that don't know, basically you can stick enemies and then slide. Um, and when I say stick and slide, I mean you're gonna stand still, stick them with your Torg, um, sticky rounds and then when you slide and reload at the same time Violent momentum will be applied to your gun damage So you don't actually have to slide while shooting now most of you know this I've talked about this a lot on my channel But for those of you who are new here That's how Torg stickies work with violent momentum and on Zane and that's the best way to use them now the real reason why I'm reviewing this gun is because I've made more than one video using um, quickies, using hedgehogs, telling you guys the best parts you're gonna wanna find for these weapons. And to me, this is basically a budget option um, of the quickie and the hedgehog. Now this pushes out a ton of damage. You can see I'm melting bosses with only a couple shots. Um, but in my opinion, the quickie and hedgehog with the god rolled parts that I've explained in past videos um, will definitely be more damage in the long run, like for example against Wotan. However, when it comes to smaller bosses, it's not going to matter, and the Tanguska is probably the better option because you can actually farm for this weapon. 
Um, like I said, you can go to Chomp Stomp. You can farm him over and over again until you get the right one, and it shouldn't take you that long. Um, and that's the issue with Quickies and Hedgehogs, is you can't really farm for those weapons. They're just purple world drops. Um, of course, you can vendor farm, you can gun gun farm, which is going to be great. Eventually, you're going to find the right one. Um, so definitely look out for them and look at inside the parts. Um, but yeah, the Tanguska has a dedicated loot source, and that's what's great about it, in my opinion. And as you guys can see in this video, we're not even using bonus damage on our class mod. We only have that AoE damage on our artifact, um, which is fine. And we're still pushing a ton of damage out of this weapon just by boosting our magazine size and then sticking while sliding. So I definitely suggest this weapon. Personally, I'm actually going to start playing with this weapon a lot more. And yeah, a lot of people thought this weapon was really bad. Um, I've never had an opinion on this weapon before just because I've never played with it. But once Glyce um, mentioned this to me and I started playing with it, uh, this weapon is definitely like super underrated. I've heard a lot of people say there's no good RPGs in the game, and there's a ton of them, including this one. So yeah, that's my opinion on it, and as you guys can see from a lot of the clips during this video, I think that's pretty well proven. Now when it comes to anointments, you're definitely want, gonna want to go with either 125% splash damage or Sentinel Cryo. Um, both of these anointments are some of the most powerful in the game. And like I said, you can actually farm for this weapon, which is great. So go ahead and farm Chonk Stomp until you get a double penetrating with either of those anointments. Um, and then the other great thing is that you can always just use shield and grenade elemental anointments. Um, while boss farming with Zane, you can just blow up your Digiclone using a uh, Doppelbanger. And yeah, you get a bunch of bonus damage, even if you have bad luck with... Um, unanointed ones or the incorrect anointments you can still make do with shield and grenade anointments um, yeah I honestly think this uh, RPG is very powerful so yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for the video I really enjoyed using this weapon like I said I'm gonna be using this weapon a lot more um, but I really wanted to make this review for you guys just to tell you guys how strong this weapon is so if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and drop a like Subscribe to the channel if you want to see future Mayhem 4 Zane builds um, I, that I come out with. And if you'd like to join the Zane Nation Discord channel, link will be in a pinned comment down below. We're actually growing so huge, we are over 3,000 members in the Discord channel now. Um, so yeah. Now, finally, for the end of the video, I'd like to take one last moment to thank my channel members for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. You mean the world to me. And yeah, thank you guys. Just a quick shout out to the channel members. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one.